What's going on, everybody? Key AFC East matchup this weekend in Foxborough. The Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots renewing their rivalry. Seems like every time these two teams play, the under hits, right? It's happened in five out of the last seven matchups, including twice last year. And in five out of the last six Miami September games, the under hit. And six out of the last nine New England uh, September games, the under has also hit. So 43 and a half points. That is the over under. The Patriots are two and a half point favorite. I'm kind of staying away from that line, but I do like the under. Why? Because I think New England's going to be better defensively, even though Stefan Gilmore is out for this game. That's something for you to consider here because the Dolphins have Devontae Parker and Jalen Waddle and Albert Wilson and Jakeem Grant. They got a lot of speed at the, at the wide receiver position and no Stefan Gilmore, but I think New England's going to be better defensively this year. They have some guys coming back from the COVID situation. They also made some interesting acquisitions. So uh, they're playing at home. The Dolphins usually struggle to score out there in Foxborough. Uh, and, then when I, and, th and then when we look at the, the Patriots offense, Mac Jones faces off against a defense that went into week 17 leading the league in points given up. Why? Because they're very good on third down. They take the ball away. Okay, and they have some exotic looks at the line of scrimmage, some exotic blitz packages. And it can be very, very confusing for a rookie quarterback. Okay, so I think it's going to be a very tough task here for Mac Jones in week one against a rival. Uh, Brian Flores used to work in New England, knows Bill Belichick very well. Bill Belichick also knows Brian Flores' tendencies. So I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. So I'm going to go with the under 43 and a half points. I think it's going to be kind of a 20 to 17 type of score. We shall see what happens. And for everything regarding the world of betting, you can go to oddshark.com.